So I'm getting this question, and I'm saying, what what does the the urban airbrush affair basically mean to me? Um, I basically had this vision for like the last five to six years to be able to build something where artists can be able to get together, talk, you know what I'm saying, and work out some of the issues that we got with inside our marketplace. Um, there's not, uh, there's never been an affair or a party or a getaway that's based upon artists of color, you know what I'm saying? And um, me being an artist of color, I've always wanted to be able to have an opportunity to be able to network and, you know what I'm saying, talk to other artists that's on the same playing field as myself. So, you know, this is something that I basically put together, man, really for urban airbrush artists to be able to get together so we can mingle, talk, uh, network, uh, discuss some of the topics and some of the issues that um, that are part of our marketplace. And um, I mean, I, I hear a lot of airbrush artists, you know what I'm saying, talking and complaining about the way our market is and the way that we um, don't get some of the recognition, only we understand what we go through. So, you know, it has to be something that's built around you know us, the urban airbrush artists. You know, what I'm saying these are things. Um, these, these are things that can't nobody else teach us. Can't nobody else help us figure out. So this 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 function right here, um, the urban airbrush affair, is something that man has been a vision and a dream of mine for for many years. Why I decided to do it in uh, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. That's what everybody like. Why you just why you decided to do it in Cape Girardeau, Missouri? Cape Girardeau, Missouri is a place that I found myself um, at within like the last year and a half. It's a beautiful small town. I wanted to do it in a non-urban environment. I didn't want to do it somewhere where it was going to be big, crazy. I didn't want to do it somewhere where it was going to be a whole bunch of um, distractions. First of all, a lot of urban artists, especially black artists, Latino artists, we got a lot of pride issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring you into an element that ain't got nothing to do with the urban env environment. I mean, this this place down here, man, it's, it's country. It's, it's real country. So, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to do it um, somewhere where it's a laid back environment where people can really enjoy themselves and really unwind, man. Uh, one thing about uh, urban airbrushers uh, and just running a business in an urban uh, in environment already is real stressful. You know what I'm saying? Right. This place is real laid back, man. Y'all gonna, gonna trip when y'all see it. You know what I'm saying? It's in the middle of nowhere on uh, 55 uh, South, you know what I mean? Right between St. Louis and Memphis. So, you know what I'm saying? You're like you two hours from Memphis, two hours from uh, St. Louis. So I decided to have it down here, you know what I'm saying, just to be able to give everybody an opportunity, man, just to be laid back, a different environment. It's a cool, cool little small town, and I love it, man. So that's why I decided to have it here, man. So what should y'all really expect? What should y'all expect? You know what I'm saying? Everybody like, well, I'm gonna be paying $100 or 125 bucks. You know what I'm saying? What should you expect? What you should expect is growth. Like when you leave this, this this affair, you know what I'm saying, the UAA, when you leave here, first of all, your, your spirit is going to be stronger because you really had time to be able to rest, you know what I'm saying. Um, second of all, you're going to be able to meet other artists that are just like you, other artists that that are going through the same things that, you, um, that you're going through. You're going to be able to meet other artists that are, um, you know, whether they're from the East Coast or the West Coast or from um, the Dirty South, these are all artists that are going through the same trials and tribulations um, that you are going through. So you're going to be meeting like long-term uh, long term friends, man, people that you ain't never probably uh, ever met, whether it's online or so on. And another thing, you know what I'm saying, for a lot of brothers, you know what I'm saying, that have been out there on the internet, they've been networking and so on, just gives you an opportunity to finally meet these people that, you have, that you've uh, been talking to online. So it's gonna be just a real interesting thing, man. Um, come down not expecting anything, but you know what I'm saying, just come down to really enjoy yourself, learn some new skills, some new techniques, talk about some things. Um, uh, we're gonna be giving away tons of different things, whether it's paint, information, knowledge, you know what I'm saying? So, man, y'all come down, man, support your boy, man. Come down, I want to meet y'all, man. This is a lot of y'all I've seen online, a lot of y'all I've talked to online, you know, and so on. A lot of y'all I've talked to on the phone. So I want y'all to come down, man. Meet and greet, enjoy yourself. Don't expect anything. Just come down and enjoy yourself, man. It's your boy Airbrush Assassin, man. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Go to the website urbanairbrush.com, urbanairbrush.com for more information or to register. It's a hundred dollars, 125 bucks after September 15th. I need y'all support, man. I'm coming out of my pocket for this, man. This is for us, though. Let's make history. The Urban Airbrush Affair, man. I holler at y'all, man. I see y'all there. Support Airbrush.